Russia was in mourning today for nearly two and a half thousand sailors lost aboard the aircraft carrier the Admiral Bostyev, which sank without a trace in a hurricane three days ago. News has leaked out that two scientists are missing following the fatal fire at a research lab in the UK, leading to rumors of their defection. Resigned today amid claims that US military hardware, including AH-64 Apache attack helicopters, is being sold on the black market. Breakup of the Soviet Union has flooded the black market with military technology. Jet fighters, helicopter gunships, and small arms can all be had. America woke this morning to find that all communication with the Hawaiian Islands has been lost, possibly as a result of the detonation of such a weapon banned under the Dusseldorf Convention causes an electromagnetic pulse which renders all electronic equipment in the area useless. The president has appealed for calm as reports arrived from ships in the area of Hawaii telling of a fleet of military ships off the coast of Kauai, the northernmost of the Hawaiian Islands. Initial reports of this fleet is led by the Admiral Boschev, previously thought to be sunk with all hands in a hurricane. Hawaii, the last of the islands in the Hawaiian chain, is now believed to be under the control of the as yet unidentified army. Reports Attacks on America began when the central traffic control computers were shut down, bringing rush hour traffic across the nation to a standstill. The toxic cloud was released when safety systems at the plant fell under the control of hackers. All internal and international flights have been grounded as hackers attacked air traffic control systems. Five near misses were reported as The Pentagon is denying claims that its systems have been compromised while some experts are claiming a link between the invasion of Hawaii and today's attack. The reservoir, which supplies most of New York, was contaminated whilst its computerized monitoring systems were disabled. The computers of at least 10 of the nation's leading banks have been effectively frozen, leading to widespread panic as further water shortages in 10 major cities have led to emergency rations. The computers may not be operational again for some weeks, leaving literally millions with little hope of obtaining correct medical treatment or drug prescriptions. These attacks match the pattern of cyber terror incidents across the country and may be intended to incapacitate defenses in preparation for it. The president has declared a state of martial law following a level of civil unrest unseen since the calling themselves the Army of the New Millennium or ANM the group claimed that this was only the first step in what they described as freeing the world from the grasp of the American war machine. The group warned that further cyber attacks would follow. They vowed to follow their invasion of Hawaii with a direct attack on the U.S. mainland in the near future. The president has stated that martial law and the need to defend against a possible mainland attack by the ANM means that America cannot spare enough military force to mount a full-scale attack on the ANM forces in Hawaii. With no other options, the president has been forced to order the USS Armstrong into Hawaii. This aircraft carrier, fresh from a Marine Corps training exercise in the Pacific region, and carrying only a small complement of carriers from Eagle Squadron, has orders to liberate the islands at all costs. Tonight, as troops on the streets struggle to keep control of a nation close to anarchy, the president must be hoping that this conflict can be ended before the field of play moves any closer to home.